Hi crafters, this is Cassie, bringing you another video on behalf of Sub This and That Monthly Sublimation Box. We are working from our July box, which is titled, Life is Better at the Beach. And while all the items in this box can be used at the beach, as always, they also serve a dual purpose. For today's video, I am going to tackle the beach slash bath towel. And this is a nice towel. I mean, it is huge. It is uh, 54 inches wide or long by um, 20, I think it's 27 inches. And um, this is awesome. This is really amazing. The feel of it, very soft. You can make this a bath towel or you can use it at the beach as a beach towel. So the entire design, and I'm only going to sub the actual uh, outer perimeter of the towel. So I'm not gonna do the full towel. I did do a quick uh, look at how many sheets of paper it would take to actually sublimate the full towel. And it's about six sheets of 13 by 19 and about a sheet or two of 11 by 17. So for me to do the perimeter, it's three sheets of 13 by 19 and then I had one strip left on, I printed that on an 11 by 17 because it was um, longer than 11 inches. So I had to go up a size on my paper. So again, I like a craft challenge. So I'm going to uh, try this again. I'm actually going to pull out another six foot table because I couldn't use this work surface because it, I have a lot of stuff on both sides, even though this is an eight foot table. So I'm gonna pull out another table, I'm gonna cut this out, piece it together, and then we'll go from there. Now that I have the pieces trimmed, I am going to lay this out the way it will be designed on the towel so I will know which pieces of the sides I can trim. If you notice, all of my ends are trimmed down to the design because those are all connecting points. I left space on the sides so that I could have a place to uh, maneuver the tape. Um, and the tape will be joining the two pieces together. So I am actually going to use my craft bond, hope you guys can see that, my Elmer's craft bond to actually adhere the design to the towel, but I use heat tape to connect the pieces on the front and the back. So I am going to uh, put this back together just so I can see um, where I am with, uh, connecting all the pieces for the design. So, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. As you can see, I kind of have it just mocked where everything goes, but I also made a little mistake. I shouldn't have cut this inside portion because I don't have anything down there to connect these two pieces to. So, this is gonna be interesting. So I am going to try and take down, and you can see from these two pieces how I have white on both sides, even though I don't really have enough on this side, but I am going to make it work. So I'm trying to decide if I should do my corners first or attempt to do the entire design, which is my initial, my initial thought. 
So give me a second to think this through and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I think I'm going to do side and then side because I think it's going to be really hard for me to maneuver this as one large piece. Um, so I taped it where they join and then I also tape the seams down the back on the back side. After this, I'm going to show you guys, I think how that's the towel there <laughs> on another six foot table and I pre-pressed it a little bit. I know you can't tell because it's not, it still looks wrinkled, but it's not laid completely flat. I am going to spray with my Elmer's Quick Bond, Craft Bond, and you're going to lightly spray your design and let it sit for three to five minutes. This will create a temporary bond between your substrate, which is the towel, and your actual design. I do recommend that you completely cover your work surface uh, when using this spray. It's very tacky. Um, it is an adhesive. And I'm going to pause the video because I don't have anything to cover my space with. I need to run and get something or I'm going to take this outside on my front porch and spray it. So I think I got a plastic tablecloth. So Sorry about that guys, I had a call come through and stop the video, so I'm not even sure where I left off. I hope it was with me telling you all to make sure you cover your work surface. Um, I found some large sheets of tissue paper that I had from a project two years ago. So I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna spray again with the Craft Bond a light, a, a light coat, and I'm gonna let it sit for three to five minutes, and then I'm gonna place it on the towel. All right, we will time that and we'll come back and we'll lay it on the towel and start pressing. I'm going to try to bring this over to my heat press. Um, the towel is to be pressed at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And because the towel is larger than my heat press, we're going to have to do this in sections. I am like super, 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 super nervous. for 60 seconds. Again, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. All right, I'm going to shoot for this last section. I'm so used to using this heat press that I keep forgetting to pull the bottom plating out.
interesting. I'm not sure what made the paper um, get stuck, and I'm also not sure how I missed this little piece right here. I'm looking at the, the scraps of paper, and, and I can't tell honestly what happened, but I will um, press the other side, and then I'll be back with the finished product. So here is my suggestion and why I don't think it is the best thing to sublimate this as a whole. One, because it's fabric and it's not exactly even going all the way across. This corner is a little further out. This one is a little further in. Um, and there's nothing you can do about that. I'm not even sure what this was on. This is my heat press. I use a new, I use a new sheet of blowout paper. Maybe the top one. But, um, yep, yeah, so you're not guaranteed an even design all the way around, unless, if I would have done a more simpler design where I didn't have all these different parts and pieces for uh, coloring, may not have been as bad um, because you could have made the design larger so that it overlaps all these areas so if you it can be done I will say that you can do it I don't necessarily uh, recommend it and I still have no idea what happened to this little piece right here but there it is the other thing I want to discuss when you have uh, a small heat press a lot of times I use a board. This is called a Yukador board. You can get this at Home Depot. It comes in an extremely large sheet. It's in the contractor section of the store. Um, and Yukador is spelled E-U-C-A-D-O-R. And I think this is a quarter inch thick. Um, and they will cut it for you for free. I didn't use it with this project because I didn't have a large enough piece. I think this is the largest piece I have, which um, I got this cut to fit my 15 by 15 heat press. So what you would do with the board is you would place your blowout paper down on the board. You would place your substrate on it, your design facing up, and then you would place another sheet of butcher paper on top. What this allows you to do is to slide without it's kind of hard to do it with a towel, but it allows you to slide through your heat press without interrupting um, the design. I do show in another one of our earlier videos how I use this on my 15 by 15 heat press. Um, so give this a try if you have a smaller press. It, it allows you to easily maneuver the different sections through your heat press machine. And again, if you're going to do multiple prints, I highly recommend doing the craft bond, the Elmer's craft bond for the temporary adhesive. Um, and I will also note that the paper, the first time I peeled the paper off, it seemed a little hard. I waited until the entire side was done and out the press to tear the paper off. But when I did the second side, I started tearing off the paper while the other part of the towel was being pressed. And so it was still warm and the paper easily came off. So I think I waited uh, too late to cut the paper off. I mean, to remove the paper off the first side. But again, love, love, love the towel. Um, if you do try and do a, a full design, please let us know how it worked for you. Uh, post your final product in the group and stay tuned. We have one more product in this month's box and that will be this can cooler and so this video will be coming soon thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video